Welcome, everyone, to the channel. This is Matthias Kane. Zero official? Zero official? <laughs> yes, this is Matthias Kane official. The officialist of Matthias Kane's. Sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I've got a lot going on um, outside in the real world with work, life, and friends and things like that. Um, so this is me trying to catch up and say hello to the community once again. I've got a new avatar. This is Matthias Kane green, but I can also make it Matthias Kane yellow at the flip of a switch. It just takes but one flip, flip of the switch. So cool things that I discovered. If you get on top of a unicorn or a gorilla, you can get on top of these lights. Me and like four or five other people were sitting up there and that was really, really fun. Um, also, someone discovered a glitch where if uh, you're kind of like laying here, you can kind of get in the middle here with Auto Gorilla. Um, I don't know how they did it, but I saw them do it. I haven't been able to replicate it, but it might be something that may want to get patched for the future. But I know that's a little fun spot that people like hiding in. It's actually a really good spot when you think about it. Let me say hello to all the humans. Hello, humans. Nailed it! Ooh, what a ride. Sure, let's do it. Where are we going? See if you can get me on top of the light pole. <laughs> I'm going to jump off. I'm going to run away. All right, so let's see. Come up here. Can't make it with, Can't make it as an avatar. Good Fox? This is still an amazing game, by the way. Um, So everyone that likes to play this game, this game is awesome. It's one of the few games that I play every single day. And I don't have many games that I play every single day. So I really like it. I think it's awesome. Um, Still waiting for uh, the different colored fireballs. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Oh, wait, I turned around. Oops. Let's go ahead and be an animal since we are playing Animal Simulator. Now, I don't have any of the paid animals on this account. Um, so let's see if I can... Uh, do I have Rudolph? I have Rudolph. Wait, I think I got Rudolph. I thought I won Rudolph. Do I got him? Oh, I have that one. Okay, that's fine with me. That is fine with me. Dear, we are running through the bushes again. Again. And we found the fires. So, someone today said discombobulate. Discombobulate. And the only thing that I could think of at the time was... That sounds like a Harry Potter spell. Discombobulate! Like something that um, Albus Dumbledore would say. Let's go ahead and attack this. And I don't have 10,000 level... On this account requires level 10k. 10k requirement. Aiden Paul 1 sent me a friend request. I will accept that offline. I do not like to accept friend requests while I am recording. Do not take me for some conjurer of cheap tricks. Sorry. I always remind myself of Gandalf when I talk like that. When he says that whole thing. You know the, you shall not pass. Who is, kill the snowman? Okay, let's do it. Let's kill the snowman. Somebody doesn't like my singing. They said it's very cringe. And I agree with them. I don't like my singing either. I don't think I have a good singing voice. I still try, um, because practice, pra practice makes perfect. Perfect makes practice. Practice. But um, I also throw myself out there for you guys because, you know, it's fun. I don't mind humiliating myself every now and again just to bring a smile on somebody's face. And that's what I try to do. So I will take that shame and I will wear it proudly. All right. So I guess we're attacking a snowman together. We are a pact, a lion, a horse and a reindeer. Kill the snowman together. So like that we can get Rudolph. That's an off-the-fly song. Let me use my real voice. Hey, everyone. How are you doing today? This is Matthias Kane Official here, and this is my real voice. It's finally time. Sorry. I had to do that. Did I? Did I, though? Did I really? Probably not. You're probably all wondering, 
Why does he have so many voices? I wanted to do voice acting at one point um, for like animes and stuff and video games, but that's not the life, uh, the, the, the path my life chose. Um, the one thing that I was good at in high school was math. And um, coincidentally, I didn't like math. I was good at math, but I didn't like math. But I was, um, I always had this ability. It's not really an ability. It's just like, it's like everyone can do it. But I can kind of see things and kind of figure out how they work, even if I don't fully understand them. So, like, for instance, like a television, right? A television might break. And even though I don't know how to fix TVs, excuse me, like I'm not, a, I'm not like a, a, a full on, you know, TV builder or whatever you call it. I can kind of figure out what's wrong with it. And this led me to a career of troubleshooting. So I get really good at troubleshooting things for other people. And um, so they would come to me with a problem. They would say, hey, this is not working. I would look at it. I would kind of tinker with it. And I would figure it out. And then I would semi-fix it. Sometimes I fixed it. Sometimes I didn't. I actually got out of the business of fixing people's cell phones, which was something that I used to do as a side hobby. I would fix cell phones and computers and things like that. And I actually got out of the business because it was costing me money because I was doing it for free. Um, the caveat was that caveat. Not caviar. The caveat was that I was doing it for free, but I was also learning as I was doing it. So I was picking up a skill set while whilst I was helping someone, which was pretty awesome. Um, but then it became the time where I was started getting scammed. Like somebody would bring me a, a phone and they would say, hey, my screen's cracked. And I started getting careless and I wouldn't like fully test the device in their presence. So then I would try to fix it and realize, well, hey, the screen's not cracked. It's something else. And then I would tell them, like, hey, did this problem work? And they'd be like, nope, it was broken like that when I gave it to you. And then I'd end up, like, paying for it. I mean, technically, I was doing it for free. I didn't have to uh, pay for it. But I know, like, this one guy spent... Is that Rudolph? Oh, that's the same one I got. I know one guy spent over $340 to fix a screen that I wasn't sure was originally broken when I started repairing it. Um... He needed a new digitizer. Digitizer lays slightly above the uh, LCD panel. So like, for instance, on your phone or your tablet, there's multiple layers. You have the LCD, which is the screen that's beneath it. And they claim that the LCD is usually covered by Gorilla Glass, which is supposed to be extremely strong glass. However, the digitizer, which is the layer that you actually interact with on a daily basis, that's the one you touch all the time that interprets your, uh, your, your finger position and stuff like that. That digitizer is usually not made of any type of... Um, strong glass it's very very thin glass or cheap glass so that's what tends to break um on most cellular devices cell phones ipads iphones things like that they adhere it with a type of chemical glue that is so strong that the only way that you can um separate those two items is either with lasers that burn the glue but we're talking about like lasers you know what i mean like lasers or a type of fine wire that's rotating in an extremely high um, RPMs, like things like that are the only things that can actually separate um, the digitizer from the LCD panel. So like I said, in this instance, uh, the guy told me, he was like a Galaxy Note. I want to say it was a Note 3. This is how long ago this was. So it was a Note 3. I think they're like all the way up to the Note 9 right now. I kind of stopped following things too much. But um, but yeah, so he was like, yeah, my um, my screen was broken prior to you getting it. And I ended up paying like $350, $340 something dollars just to uh, repair it for him. And I paid for it out of pocket. So I didn't charge him. I didn't get anything back for it. And I realized, I was like, yeah, you know, I'm spending my own money here trying to help people. Uh, that's not going to work. So, you know, I eventually just bowed out of doing it. So it's been a while since I've, I've actually like fixed things like that. But for the longest time, I was um, doing a lot of technical work like that. Soldering boards, uh, uh, soldering iron, <laughs> soldering iron, soldering boards, soldering boards, uh, PC, PCBs is what they're called, CPUs, um, what are they called, uh, one of the largest failing components in most electronics are capacitors, capacitors tend to overheat over time and they um, burst, and so um, I would, you know, resolder new capacitors, fuses, um, transistors, all that stuff, um, diodes, you name it. Um, I got pretty decent at that for a while, but I was not good enough to uh, make it a lifelong business. So then um, at my place of employment, I realized, wait, that was a message? 
I realized that I was pretty good at counting. I was always pretty decent at counting and um, calculation. So uh, I stepped up and I became a, a professional counter. Now I do um, quality-based work without giving away exactly what I do. I do quality-based work to make sure that uh, something that's done the first time is done right every time. And I create, create, and, oh, that was pretty cool. How did I do that? I create and or, um, and or uh, audit procedures to make sure that uh, people are following the process. So like that, uh, we can better help everyone else. Right? Right? I can get to bounce again. Um, but, you know, that, that's, that's what I do now, and it's fun, and I like it. Um, I dabbled in singing for a little bit. <laughs> Obviously, I wasn't good at it. You know, somebody said my singing's cringe, which which I agree with them. Um, my freestyling is a little bit good though. I I have to admit, like I I'm gonna be a little bit uh I'm gonna be a little bit uh humble braggy here, and I kind of like the way that freestyle came out. Um, it wasn't perfect by no means, and there are surely tons of other people that can do way better. But um, that was a pretty good first run. I was actually proud of that. Um, I may do something like that in the future. Um, so, so not much has changed right now in the Animal Sim world. Um, we're still waiting on the newest update. I really want bunnies. Bunny, bunny, bunnies, bunnies. Because it is Easter or it's past Easter or it's coming up to Easter. Easter is the Sunday, I believe. Bunnies would be so awesome. I mean, yeah. Cool. Um, an Easter egg hunt would be great. You know, just like put little tokens throughout the map. Hide them in different locations. Randomize them upon spawning into the world. I don't know how that would work. I don't know what you would get. Maybe you get like a variant of the bunny. I don't know. Um, but that would be pretty cool. Is this panda chasing me? I can't tell. I can't tell. Jumping over Tristan with these. That was actually pretty smooth. That was actually really, really smooth. All right, so let's go ahead and switch animals out right here. Reset. And here I am. Here I am, do do do, running like a hurricane, do 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 do. Hyenas are cool. Um, let's see, what do I want to be? What do I want to be? Do I want to be you? Huh? Do I want to be you? Huh? Do I want to be you? Let's 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 be this. Long live the king. Sorry, that was a bad Jeremy Irons impression. Oh, Simba. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie in so long. Um, I need to rewatch it and kind of get down uh, the Jeremy Irons voice a little bit. Um, I could do an okay James Earl Jones Mufasa. Okay, wait. Let me clear my throat a little bit. Let me clear my throat. Um, let me get to the top of the... Is this Scar? Yeah, this is Scar. Okay. That guy dead. He died. All right, so let's get to the top. Well, not the very, very top. Let's get to the front part. All right. <clears throat> Are you ready? Here it goes. Simba. Just kidding. Simba, you deliberately disobeyed me. And what's worse, you put Nala in danger. That's my best. That's the best I can do. I'm sorry. That is terrible. Terrible. See, that's why I'm not a voice actor. That's why I am Matthias Kane official. 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 Sorry if, that, sorry if that made you dizzy. Not much going on here. Still running around. Um, Yeah, but if you're not playing Animal Simulator, play Animal Simulator. This game is awesome. And really, the people are what make it great. I've met a lot of amazing people on here. Um, A lot of amazing people. Some I've met are, are not so nice. Some of them I've met are great, great people. Like, watch this. Watch how this community is. Hi, peeps. Oh, I said eels. Hi, eels. I don't mean to say eels. Hi, peeps. Peeps? Hi, peeps. Is that going to work? Hi, peeps. See, and look at how I get ignored. Just like in life. Always a shadow in the room. No one wants to talk to me. Sad. Oh, well. I tried, though. You saw I tried to mingle. I tried to say hello. Yeah, but this game is awesome. Every update makes it better. Um, the people are awesome. 
A lot of the players are really fun to play with. There are some nefarious characters. If you know what the word nefarious means, it's bad. But there are some some people that uh that uh you know don't have uh everyone's uh best interest in uh mind. They 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 just don't uh really wanna you know help out everyone. They wanna just uh you know do do things that are uh, beneficial to themselves and uh and and kind of like destroy other people's uh fun time playing the game and all like that. But you know like that's uh people. Sorry, I was just gonna keep getting higher and higher with the uh pitch with the elevation. Oh, I fell off. All right, so let's end this with a dance. But that's kind of official. Not much going on inside of this video today. But we're gonna end it with a dance. Let's go ahead and type. Where is it at? Slash e dance. That came out wrong. Dance. Boom. What was that? It was like a face plant. Oh, somebody died. That wasn't me. All right, so let's try this one more time because obviously this is not working. Let's try it again. Dance. Face plant. Um, that's obviously not gonna work. I'm gonna get bit, aren't I? Okay, slash. E, dance, two. There we go. All right. So thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching the channel. Um, I hope you are all safe and happy. I am Matthias Kane official, and I am out. That was very dramatic. I know. Sorry.